we just received a new device from WISE, it's the King Lion Scenic. Just do the work from the, from the back. Uh, as you can see, it's a very compact model. Uh, we have uh, different connections on that. We have uh, the power supply. We have mouse and uh, keyboard, I mean PC, PC2. We have a uh, DVI uh, uh, interface. We have the LAN uh, connector and a couple of USBs in the, in the back side of the, of the device and a couple of more one in the, in, the, in the front of the device. And we have also the connection for the, for the audio headset and microphone. Okay, this is a, a very thin client and uh, it's not uh, heating a lot because we are using the dissipator for the, for the heat and uh, it's not like a typical PC in which uh, would be uh, very, very hot in, in not many time. So we are going just to connect this to the, to the projector using a, an adapter for the, adapter for the, for the video. I'm going to set the USB or the keyboard, another USB, the mouse, and then the line connectivity, interface with the network. Now I'm going to plug in the power. Let's turn it on. It's going to take uh, only some seconds to, to present the environment in which we can just uh, log in to the Send Desktop. This is completely integrated with the, with the Citrix environment. So once that the projector is receiving the, the signal of the video, this is that what we have here. So we can just write our password. will be on the environment. We are now in the desktop, so we can just work with all the applications that we have over here. In that case, we are going to use an example for a 3D application and cap. So we can just rotate this piece of engine. You can see. So the thin line is not affecting the behavior of the of the application. We can just do different cats of the piece. You can see the performance in the graphics are perfectly. You can just close the application. And disconnect from the session. And we are getting back in the desktop of the Senate. Just a couple of words uh, talking about the admin mode. You have different settings that you can modify locally. You can talk about the network staff. If we are going to work at the HCP or statically. In this uh, very first example that we are doing, of course, it was uh, dynamically uh, using the HCP because actually we were setting in the DHCP options IDs one that is the 1A1, in which you can just define which is the IP address of the send desktop to which you want to connect. So even if the device is brand new from the box, you can just connect it to your network. And as far as you are defining in the DHCP options ID, one that is 1A1 as I said, and you are, in this case, writing the IP address of the send desktop broker server, as you can see is disabled here, because actually this is uh, something that the Senate just received in this, in this session for the standard configuration in the DHCP. And in general options, we can put administrator, and in that case we, can, uh, we only have to put the, the password to go through the to the send desktop session. The behavior of the Senate in fact is quite similar to the to the wise Dean on S because we can just define a file server from which the Senate can get the ini file. And this is a file in which you can uh, just define which is going to be the behavior of the device. And uh, we can also set uh, in the DHCP all the options stats and ID that we want. In that case, as I showed you previously, here is the different stuff. Here's the different stuff that you can define in the DHCP. Okay, so you can define which is the file server to which uh, I have uh, as a static model. I have to check if uh, I have a new uh, firmware. If I have to upload that firmware, uh, this is the file server in which I will find the .ini file, and uh, all my configuration can be just embedded from there. I can define the Citrix server, and I can define also other parameters as the Wise Device Manager server, 
and the wise device manager porting which I'm going to, to, to work against that uh, wise device manager. Wise device manager is our tool to manage all the devices remotely. This is another history. And of course you can modify a lot of settings here. You can even take a look to the ini file. If you define in the ini file enable cache ini yes, then the winning and uh, the, the WN always ini or the send ini that actually is the file that the sending is getting from the FTP in order to know which is the configuration and the behavior that he's going to take. It will appear over here all the files, so you can take a look to all the configuration that we are just defining on the ini file. So once again and leaving administrator mode. We are going to shut down. In that case, I will remove the administrator part just to show you if I save this value. And I do a restart of the device. You will see again that it's only some seconds just to, to detect the, the devices and initialize it. Looking for the IP address and to get the DHCP parameters. And in that case, to write it down manually in that. We are gaining a couple of seconds connected to our send desktop environment. And this is the powerful of the device. You, know, you can get into an, a send desktop environment in just a matter of seconds. And you are using a very uh, small device, uh, very uh, uh, a very useful device. You know, in that case, I just push the turn off button. So the device is going to disconnect the session, it's going to be back to the to the desktop, and in this case, now it's turning off.